Hello, welcome to the Perfect People Podcast. Join Olanda, Faranda, Quan, and Didi for a dive into culture, entrepreneurship, corporate America, and of course, our daily lives. You get the scoop, the tea, and so much more. Imperfect people, but perfectly put together. The, the Perfect, Perfect people, people Podcast. The Perfect People Podcast, coming to you each and every Thursday, starting January 14th, 2021, on all podcast platforms. Welcome back to Relationship Status. It's your girl, Neek Cruz. CL Butler. And your boy, Yusuf in the building. And remember, you can catch us on all podcast platforms. Just search Relationship Status Podcast. C. Yes, sir. How's the week there? It's great. It's great? It's great. It's great? Yes. Okay. No, that's it. Glad to be here. Another year. Another year. Amongst friends. Amongst friends. Yes. This is this is the which date is this? Which date? Yeah. As in what number date are we on? What number date? Oh, date as in show. Yes. This is our one hundredth. This is our one hundredth date. The one hundredth time we've come Say before you. Talk. Yeah. Yes. Neek, how do you how do you feel about that? One hundred. Uh, dealing with y'all for a hundred shows. Okay. Mm. Uh, and I, I see I how you asked him how his day was first. No, I'm because we're, we're kind of we're, we're going. Rude. There's a there's a direction we're going. Way about that. There's a direction that this mm. is going. You would, yeah. I know I would. Yeah, I mean it's okay. Well, what do so you mean by that? Huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean you would feel somewhere about that. But you say that like you know me like that. It's like it's been two years, Nick. Yeah, no, no yeah. it's like I mean. Two years of this. It's about time I speak up. Speak up on this. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Please speak do. on it. It's like a sibling uh, envy. Okay, please. You know how so? I'm a cooler, bigger brother, <laughs> and she's the little sister, and she's. You're right. Like every <laughs> like, if I get a pen, she want a pen. Like here, Nick, take the pen. So it's it's okay. Okay. If he, it's a problem if you ask me first. Problem if you ask me second. I think she just wants more attention from you, sir. So. No. Uh, okay. No, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I like routine. Sh- shot my theory. <laughs> All right. So how was how was your week, Nate? It was good. It was good. It was I don't good. have anything exciting. It was great. Okay, that's cool. Mm. Uh, as for me, I had a good one as well. Did you? Yeah, I had a homeschooling and everything else. And well, well, that's good. Hard to be a that's good. We, a parent and teach from home. Yeah. So it's <laughs> kind of it's a little rough. Yeah, we we've uh picked up some a host of new listeners. We did. Yes. Yes. Where from? Oh, All right. over. All over the world. Have, have you ever heard of uh, one uh, Viola Davis? Viola yes. Davis? Yes. Yeah, she reached out? Her cousin sister. I was about to say her cousin. <laughs> <laughs> her cousin sister did. Okay. But she's good. Okay. Right. So they listening. We, 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 we close. We close. We three, we close. Six degrees of separation. Uh, yeah. Is, it, is, it the within, is that within movie? the six? Hmm? Is that within the six? Two. Three With, degrees. Wouldn't it be Three. One, two. I'm not talking about the movie, Neat. No. We're talking about six degrees of separation, the Kevin yeah. Bacon theory, that you're six people away from anybody in the world. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if she's a cousin and she's the listener, wouldn't that make it only three? If she's a cousin of. It could be six or less. It don't have to be six. <laughs> that's, why, uh-huh. that's, that's the only question I have. <laughs> hey, listen, Neat. It's okay. Right? The we there. <laughs> All right. We there. We're here for the 100th date Mm -hmm. and uh for that wanted to make sure we brought in some people to help us celebrate yes good conversation great conversation first one is uh it's coming today yay uh, yeah we're gonna get to that yeah yeah kind of took it away (laughs) oh yeah yeah you kind of stepped on it oh it's cool (laughs) well first of all it didn't come it should have came when we said 100 i know neat but this person uh, this person, first off, uh, yeah, you, you, is uh, you Miss. Let me go. You okay? No, you got. You got. No, get, get, no. You, you get, a, no, I'll, I was going to do. I'll do him. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do him. No, I'll, I'll do him. And you do her. Uh, and like no homo way. Yeah. yeah. Pause. Yes. Well, first of all, I could have did them, but since y'all want to do them, go whoa, ahead. You whoa, whoa, you would. <laughs> you would, Nick. Wow. Well, damn kind of show, yeah. Should have more at home already. But uh, okay, uh, first we have on uh, 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 a li- uh, listener and a future podcaster and all around Ooh. just good person. Mm. Been on the show before, always yes. uh, uh, always good. She's been on a couple of the shows on our network now, so <laughs> welcome in Miss G to the hey, to the show. Everybody, how you doing? Hey, thank you, thank you for having me. 
Oh, that was good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah the, I like that. The people See? outside. I like that. It's the people yeah. outside. Oh, kind of get you. Yeah, congratulations on a hundred dates. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank Glad to be here. Thank you. You're gonna commit soon. Commit to. Yeah, the been on a hundred oh. dates. Somebody got to commit. I think yeah. so. An engagement you're overdue. I don't know about an engagement. I just commit. Just commit. Oh, a relationship. So I feel just, a little slower. So y'all just been talking for a hundred days. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, no. Yeah, they get on nerves. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to leave the talking stage. Yes, yeah, so you do. You do. Well, now our next guest. Mm-hmm. Oh, you might have seen him rolling down the highway, <laughs> topless. <laughs> Picture me rolling. <laughs> you might heard him on a few shows. Topless. Yeah. Topless. <laughs> Been topless. a couple times. Sometimes he's in a big truck. Sometimes he's topless. Like mm. he, he's everywhere. We sometimes, gonna talk about that. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, he, <laughs> sometimes he see you before you see. Him. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. yeah, yeah. I will see you. Yeah, he will see you. He will see you. Yeah, make a call. Get creep, a drop creep, on creep, you. <laughs> gotcha. You sure I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, might, you may have heard him on the DJ Blaze radio show. May mm-hmm. have, may have, may Four. have. Has has had this mark over three about three times. Yes, yes, yes. Has one one of the three times. One of the person I've known. Uh, pers- I think you're the person I know who's actually done podcasting the longest. Wow. Yes. Yeah. You might have yeah. caught him in the Darl in the streets. In the yeah. Over indeed. there by the old Central Park. Yeah, over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and him saw him picking up a a, a young lady. Whoa! No, no, that wasn't me. That was, that that was, was my you. cousin. That, that was my cousin. You think okay. I ain't done that? Okay. That was my cousin. Okay, he know what I'm talking about. What's that, Sunshine? No, that Sunshine is a person from the time. I know, now. but this was her name. This other person that was Blossom. 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 You know, Blossom. That wasn't me. Yeah, it, was it was not you. That was my cousin. Okay. And she will be over there on the east. On the east. But anyway, I, okay. I, I've never seen it before. Okay. Well, yeah. you 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 familiar with the voice? It's uh, yeah. Be easy. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Uh, uh, no need for applause, guys. Um, <laughs> the people, are, the fans outside, man, they saw you pull yeah, up. Yeah, they saw, yeah, I know they saw me pull up. <laughs> they're, ready, they're ready to hear your voice. Yeah. Um, the key sweat. And I just want to thank, congratulate y'all on a hundred episodes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, hundred is a major milestone, and a mm-hmm. um, hundred dates, and I hope someone hit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. yes. Most, most podcasts only get to what? 20? 10? Uh, if that. Like six or seven. Six or seven. Six or seven. Six or seven. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most podcasts don't make 10 episodes. Mm-hmm. So so we're very fortunate to be in this position. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looks like y'all here to stay. We are. Yeah. Nah, we are. Continuously deal. growing day to day. We yep. are. Yeah, I almost slipped just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah slip. don't slip. Yeah. yeah don't don't slip. slip. Don't slip. It, it seems like we have some type of chemistry. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I would say that. You do? In listening, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Now, I question chemistry. Why is that? Um, Because you can make it up on the fly. Mm, but how long can you sustain that made-up chemistry? Oh, it's not, it's not sustainable at all. Yeah. yeah. So, I, mm. I think I, so is chemistry real? Is chemistry a thing? It's real. Be easy? I think it is. You think so? Yeah, I think people just mesh. What if you're just good well. at getting along with people? <sighs> yeah, but... When you just good, good, with, good at getting along with people, but you don't have chemistry with the other person, for some people that could be draining. So it'll take a lot out out of you. Like I got some friends or whatever that we good, but I can't be around them too long because we'll start arguing. <laughs> but then I got other people what that kind of, what kind of chemistry? It's different have? types of chemistry. Yeah. yeah, but then I got other people where we we friends and I can be every day. Mm-hmm. Be around them every day I talk to them every day So so what's the difference? That's a big difference Chemistry Tell me about the differences Well I think one thing You gotta think about is um, When you're talking about Chemistry You're talking about two people Or you know Energy's coming together To make Oh the lord vibe. Energy Energy well, and yeah, the vibe but like, The vibe The vibe is real though But you were talking about um, You could just get along well with people And that mm-hmm. would just be a one sided thing If you just get mm-hmm. along with people That's just one sided That's I get along with most people, mm-hmm. but that's just the kind of person I am. It takes a lot for somebody to make me not get along with them, if that makes sense. But if there's chemistry, that means the other person has... It's equal? It comes together to make it work. So that means they may offset something that you're missing. Mm-hmm. Any, anybody agree? I do. Yeah. With, I think it kind of depends on how you look at it. Okay, how are we looking at it? Um, I mean, but you have one view on the CL is that you don't you don't really see it being a real, actual, tangible thing. No, because I think I think you have to be nice enough to meet somebody and two people meet. And then as you talk and continue to grow, you develop a relationship. But isn't that sort of. But like it's a physical. The, 
attraction that brings that chemistry together, and then it starts to be an emotion. What if it's just over the phone? And then he's sick. Yeah. Oh, well, some that's, people have just good phone connections. Like some people emotional. are really good over the phone and suck in person. That's an emotional when you're somebody's talking to you and they're no, we're talking about chemistry. We're talking about chemistry. Yes, chemistry. When you're talking to someone, mm-hmm. you can feel like you have a connection to them. They're filling a, a void that you have. So you feel this connection, this energy in them like, oh, I want to talk to them more. So chemistry is a feeling? Yeah, I mean, mm. no, it's not a feeling. No, it's not? I don't view this, it. it there are feelings I'm asking involved. God. Okay. There yeah. are feelings involved because feelings are fleeting. That's when I think, one thing I really do believe because you can feel X Monday, Tuesday, and then not feel the same way. Chemistry mm-hmm. is still there regardless of whether you want to feel that. So that's why people go back to their exes and we, we retract because sometimes we have built that chemistry. That's kind of how if you are even close friends with somebody and then you don't talk to them for 15 years, you mm-hmm. see them at college homecoming and then you can still pick up a conversation like you had 15 years ago because you have chemistry. That doesn't mean that's your, it's the feeling, it, it's not a feeling, it's just the reality of it. It's okay. a connection. So that connection, is that more honest than somebody you've been actually in a relationship with physically? I, and I don't think you can. Have um, memories and time I don't think in? you can um, evaluate it in that way when you're talking about one greater than the other. You can't? I don't think so. I think I think you have chemistry, but I don't think you can say, okay, I've developed this relationship. I met this guy. We talk all the time, and now he knows these secrets about me, and I don't think you can put that versus somebody you met at the club, and then you go home, and y'all have been texting and talking, and then uh-huh. y'all are like, let's get together, and then that's just instant chemistry. That's different. I think you can develop some sort of things like that, but that's not necessarily chemistry. Well, set me straight. So, is so you it, think it's so you think it's the chemistry is developmental, not instant. No, no, I think chemistry is instant, not it's developmental. Instant. Okay, it's instant, it's instant, not developmental. Yeah, you develop a relationship, you develop feelings, you develop emotions, but chemistry, like how you talked about, you guys have been here for a hundred episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, you have chemistry, which is why it works. Okay, that's why you say a lot of podcasts. You say don't go past a certain amount of time because there was something in the chemistry that's off. Okay, in my opinion. <clears throat> Okay. Like y'all two are sports people or whatever, mm-hmm. and y'all seen teams that come together and it seem like they mesh well mm-hmm. right off the bat. That's chemistry. Yeah, but okay, and you, but, can't, and, co- and you can't. You can't coach that. Yeah, you can't coach it. You can't no. coach it, and you can't. It's nothing you can teach. It now, just happens naturally. And but you can teach teams to work together. Work together yeah. mm-hmm. But to get it instantly, sometimes it just happens, and that's that's what chemistry is. So. Chemistry is instantaneous, is what you're telling. It can be, okay. But so, so it's more of is chemistry more of a lightning in a bottle, or is it? No, not necessarily. Because if we're saying, it, well, instant chemistry would be you don't have instant chemistry with everyone. Not with everyone, yeah. no. So I mean, it would probably have to be something that is lightning not, in a bottle, so forceful. to speak. It's not forced because mm-hmm. it's, it's just not natural. Forced. It's a natural connection. So, oh. like you said, I, and I think it's instantaneous in. In regards of you can't, you're not developing chemistry. Like if Uh I'm talking to you all week Mm -hmm. and then we're getting to know each other and we find out things we have in common, that's not developing. That's that's just developing a relationship. Okay. Chemistry, if I can sit down here and talk to you all and we have a great conversation, then there's some chemistry in the room. Mm. Okay. Now, some people are better at creating chemistry with people than others, I think, because you're more open and more in tune with yourself. I think identity has something to do with that too. So what, I'm comfortable what? with who I am. So I'm open to. So you're a chemist. <laughs> I've been called. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so I've heard. So you've heard. Okay. Okay. So where are we? Have any, any of us had an instant connection with any person or is this just romantic or just with people? No, it's people. It's, it's people, people. It's just yeah. in general. So this is a people thing. Yeah, yeah. it's a people thing. Okay. Can we talk about the romantic Aspect, aspect first. Mm-hmm. Is there such thing? Mm-hmm. I personally have yeah. never experienced it. I, so you're, there's never been anybody been like, okay, we we're connecting in that way. We should go home together right now. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, we go. Because no. <laughs> I have that with anybody who I've said, okay, I want to <laughs> go home with have relations with tonight. So <laughs> we gonna make it, I can make that chemistry work. Yeah, that's not necessarily chemistry. See, that's why. I, well, I guess well, I'm not authentic then, because 
I mean, are you trying to connect with that person? Or are you just trying to connect with that? Oh no, yeah, well, I'm trying, trying to connect. connect. <laughs> I'm trying to connect, but then we'll see afterwards. But I'm trying to get this first connection first. He's trying to insert. even though that connection should be later. I'm trying to make it first. I'm trying to instant microwave it. <laughs> so you, you that's how you find relationships on, like those one night things, and you'll be like, oh no, I wouldn't. Good. I wouldn't try to build a relationship off somebody I just slept with. Oh, okay, is he? If you so sleep with me first, I'm probably not going to have a relationship so with you. Why is that? Right now. Huh? <laughs> Why is that? Cuz that's me. I like you if are. I like I'm less likely if I've met a woman in a club, uh-huh. I am less likely to take her more serious than if I just What if you met her at a bar? Same thing. What for me? But well, what if she's not drinking? No, it's not even my drinking. Those <laughs> are just places I No. What I'm just saying, what if she's there as a designated driver? Mhm. That might could work under those circumstances if her friends drug her out. Yeah. But, but how would you know? Conversation. First of all, I'm asking the right questions, Nick. Okay. I'm not a mind reader. I'm asking the right yeah. questions. Yeah. So I'm going to figure it out while we're talking. Because these questions aren't just for talking. I'm trying to set something up. So you've never seen somebody and been like. You can see somebody be instantly attracted to them, but, but that's not chemistry. But when you start talking, when you talk to the person, say you met her in the grocery store. I think that's a different. I think that's a. I mean, that got, would be a she would have to look good because okay. So where are well, you meeting well, people? Because you, you won't though. meet them at the club or the grocery store. No, I, you can meet people <laughs> anywhere. Like, okay, have you have you met a, a, a woman? You've been talking. You, you thought she was physically attractive, and you started talking to her, and you was like, "Oh my goodness, she is an idiot." <laughs> an idiot? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that's 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 the total opposite of what of. That chemistry and all of that stuff, right? Yeah, so, but but if I if I'm trying to well, hold on. close the deal, I but can, no, I'm not talking about closing the, the chemistry. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not talking about closing the deal. Okay. What I'm saying is that's the total opposite of that chemistry. So if the total opposite of that can happen, then it should be safe to say that it could happen to where you can meet someone, talk to them, and feel some kind of connection. If you can meet someone yes, and talk yes, to them, you, you can. Know what I'm, I'm just saying that hasn't been my experience. I'm okay. not saying it's impossible. It okay. just hasn't been my experience. And maybe it hadn't been my experience based upon who I am as a person. Because I kind of I kind of write you off a little bit mm-hmm. if I just, just met you. If I met you in a club and we were doing clubbish things and then decided to go home, I'm going to be like this. I'm not trying to build no final. I'm not trying to build no house on this. <laughs> yeah. Now, it like, could work. Because I know a couple who met in the club, got married, and have been ma- I mean, this happened young, like 22. Mm-hmm. They've been married for 16 years now. Yes, because you can meet in the club. I'm not saying you can't. I'm yeah, saying my that's, anywhere. Your, that's your hang up. Yeah, my hang up. Yeah, that's yeah. personal. Well, I feel right. you on that yeah. though. Yeah. Everybody got their own things. Yeah. I, I, and that's not a place I frequent. So right. if I'm there, it's yeah. on the humble. You have a pre <laughs> pre <laughs> conceived notion about people Absolutely. that are in the club. I have some mm-hmm. preconceived notions about everything, but when women in the club, when you're if you got good club behavior, I'm like, she's been here before. What do you mean good what? club ethics? But let me ethics. ask you a question. Yeah, good, yeah. good club ethics. Huh? But let me ask you a question. If you just so happen, because you don't do clubs. So if you happen to go to a club, you're in this space. And I'm, you usually see a drug, woman, I'm usually drug to a club. It doesn't matter if you're a drug, but you're in this place for a reason. Yeah, I'm you met this looking. individual for a reason. Yes. Why wouldn't you give them a chance? I'm not saying I wouldn't give him a chance. You I'm just saying I wouldn't try to build a relationship. He's Hold giving you a chance to do what he wants to do. Why you say he met the person for a reason? I, that's some well, believe, witch stuff. Oh my going on. god! I don't, I don't believe oh, you believe that. everything happened yeah, for a reason? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. You believe everything happened for a reason? Yeah, I believe yeah, there's like, no such thing as coincidence. Like the thing. higher power didn't give us a yeah. Everybody the choice is, is, to, uh, to choose. Yeah. yeah, my cousin got his blown head off. Thanks, higher power. Yeah. Oh anyway, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. 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 Dark and fast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. That's that's Woo. another show. That's a whole other show. Another show. Well, I can get a little bit. I I can see a little bit about clubs. A little bit. If I if I was hanging out in clubs, I'm definitely going there for the kill. I'm not trying to like be in like ten. No. What about like a thirty and up club? Well, I've never been to. I've never, I've never, I've never, never been to. Well, we're they not talking around. <laughs> well, I, I just don't frequent clubs. I've probably it's been to club five times in my life. With love boots. No, no, maybe ten times. With <laughs> <laughs> love boots. A lot of love boots. A lot of love and kangles. Fake kangles too. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> to the side too. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, why are you wearing three quarters of the way? <laughs> yeah, three quarters of the way too. <laughs> it ain't all the way over. Yeah, it don't never be the. I, I think you gotta. I don't know. I think with chemistry, you gotta be able to recognize or be open to you know. Because sometimes chemistry happens when you're not even trying to 
meet somebody and then you like, oh my there. gosh, we got great chemistry. Oh, yeah. Let's continue to But talk. I think those the, those are probably the more that's genuine worse. ones. That's those the are the genuine. ones, that's yes. the genuine ones where you're not even, you're, you're not there for any reason. Yes. Mm-hmm. And like, see, like some people go to the club for the kill. Oh, that's you know that, that's the, that's that's the thing you know they going in there like the dance. they going straight in there to hunt and then there's some that go with their people and they stumble upon mm-hmm. exactly. they may stumble upon someone. Take it. So nobody's there looking. I'm not saying people I, aren't I, looking, I, I but don't I go might go to the club to look for people to take home. I yeah, I don't. not necessarily take home, but you are looking. No, not at the I club. I do have my eyes peeled for okay. people because I, you know, I just no. nobody goes to the clubs they just. I'm not gonna lie, I don't go to the club to look for anybody. Well, not definitely not around here. Yeah. Why not around? What? What's wrong around here? Do you see what's in a club? Well, first of all, well, first of all, yeah, them uh, dudes, wherever yeah. y'all think y'all meeting them at, is just like the dudes here. Yeah, exactly. Did y'all not hear the they voicemail that I got the, a couple of weeks ago? Oh, uh, Nick, I don't have when? access to your phone. So no. I, I let y'all listen to it. Y'all didn't. Oh, y'all wouldn't even pay me any attention. The, what this, the um the thing with the dude was wilding out on her on her uh, voicemail. It was off air. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, it was off oh, air. I do remember you playing something. Yeah, it was off it, air. That was See, like a month, two months ago. That wasn't a month. That was just a couple of weeks well, ago. I, I think for me, uh, when you're trying to meet people, mm-hmm. like, well, people you're, per- people you're actually the most, you know, chemically matched and attached to, like, like it's not on purpose. I think, honestly, that's genuine connection. Like okay. you talked about. Like, yeah, when it's not on, when it's no, not it's not on purpose. purpose. You just yeah. have things in common you might meet. You could meet at the grocery store. You could you could meet at a conference. You could meet, meet at, at a conference. bookstore. You could, you could meet, meet at work, right? You could, the gym. It's just a genuine connection. Yeah. So I do believe in chemistry for okay. that. To me, the club carries certain connotations. When you tell me you met in the club, I'm like, uh, okay, now let's mm. let's see how you, let's see how he rolls this out. Well, I, that usually is the case, but I have met somebody at City Girl before. <laughs> okay, that's a local <laughs> pub. Look, we yeah. did. Yeah, pub? A local, I'm sorry, it's a lo- it's a local situation. Local are you situation. Still, okay. Are you still together? Yes. Oh. Okay. Long, yeah. We. I mean, you know, we talked for a long time. Oh. oh, yep. So oh, it can happen. He's still on her roster. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's still on the roster. Yeah. yeah. If you're Nothing listening, I don't even. And know not what to you're say this about, about you, but actually you met know. two people. No, two, no, mm-hmm. one. But see, I feel like when if I meet you in a club, I'm either going to start a rotation or be a part of a rotation. Oh hotation. goodness! Oh wow! Yes. wow. That's yes. the honesty hour. That's 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 what I think. Like, well, see, I don't go to the, like it's like I don't go clubbing. If I yes. go out, I'm going yes. out. With for friends and yeah, I just you don't know, do just that. hang out. That just hadn't been a part of my natural progression. Is right. And See, I'm the opposite. like I went to a club. You go out. You don't go to out. To say I went. Just go no, to. What, like he he feel like he a part of a rotation. Yeah. I go. Yeah. I feel like I met that lightning in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> She's the wholesome one in her in her friend group. There she you never go. Don't, she don't, never don't. did this before. There you go. She never the did great this white Jesus has put us together. <laughs> okay. It was meant to be. Okay. There you go. She sends you that good morning text in a group text. That happened to me before. See, Thank with a you. woman, yes, you and multiple guys, yes. Mm. It was huh. was it a mistake huh. or intentional? Oh, it was a mistake. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it was a mistake because yeah. no. that's Nick. Nick that's was trying to prove love right there. Yeah. Come on, now. yeah. That yeah. happened to me one time. You <laughs> know, was trying to prove tell, some point. Tell us, this is your head chemistry? Not really. She was a weirdo. Why was she oh, weird? Wow. She well, was, the she fact that she put the fact that she said that good morning. What made her weird? I didn't think. You know, I thought she was different because. You never like really hear women that really live by the thing that say they dating multiple people and let you know. Mm-hmm. So that was strange to me. But then like one day she came to my house after work and I was like, I didn't know you were a nurse. Like, why you got on scrubs? She was like, nah, I just had it. I just wanted to wear it to work. <laughs> and she worked in the office. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's weird. What's this, what's <laughs> run, run fast. Yeah, run I was like, COVID. what? <laughs> why is you putting on scrubs? Yeah, though? like why you got? I was like, you you work at a hospital? <laughs> she <laughs> worked in a regular. She had nothing to do. A regular she, nine to like five. A, she had like a city office job, like. And she wore scrubs. She wore scrubs just because she had them from my old job. She didn't want to wear regular clothes. You dodged a bullet. You yeah. really did. Yeah, yeah really she was. Did. Yeah. How long did you talk to her after? <sighs> Um, so same thing. Because that months. chemistry was there. No, it yeah. wasn't no chemistry. She yeah. had a nice body, and she had her own money. Uh, part of <laughs> yeah. it's all the chemistry I need. Yeah, that's all I need. Right? A part of I'm a whore. romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cheap whore. <laughs> a part of romantic chemistry is physical attraction and emotional attraction. Okay, but that's mm. okay. Fix that, please, because it says it here. Oh, uh, I mean. You you read the white man's words, so <laughs> uh, um, I don't know if that's okay. You, well, it's changing the narrative. I'm just talking about okay chemistry. So it does have something to do with physical attraction, mm-hmm. romantic shit, stuff. Okay, well we're not even testing, talking. It yeah. hadn't gotten romantic yet. Now people say I have instant chemistry. Mm-hmm. That's where we are. Oh, is that? 
Yes. I believe yes. in it. You yeah. believe in it. Oh, yeah. Love at first sight. I believe that too. Do mm-hmm. you? Yeah. I do too. Wow. I've, so you don't believe in love at first sight? Oh, me? Yeah. It stared me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I had instant chemistry with someone and stared me completely. Like So you have had. Oh, yeah. It was instant. On what? the spot. How many times? How many once. times? It only happened oh once. Oh, my God. You it, can have, it only happened once. But you can have that stuff, though, and it could steer you wrong, but you still got to be able to, like, see the red flags and stuff, too, though. Well, mm-hmm. I think that that's it was because of that instant chemistry, I ignored the red flags. Yeah. Because yeah. Cause it, was, it, was so, it was so instant, and I'd never been in a situation where it was that explosive to start. Okay, what so, what was explosive? Can you take just, us back? Just the chemistry. <laughs> just tell the, us the, 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 take, the us, take us back. Tell just us take, the story. The, the, uh, okay, tell, tell us your your feelings from the inside out. From the inside out. Okay. How made you so, feel? Yeah, how made you feel on the inside? Basically, I was dating this girl. Warm and fuzzy. Woman. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I was Warm dating and fuzzy. This, I was. She was I was wrong. dating this but woman. You, but you was in a relationship. No, I was dating. Dating's not in a relationship. We're dating. I, okay. Here we go with this again. Yeah, okay. this is some nonsense. Yeah. Well, go ahead. I was I was dating. Um, her and we were at the tail end of a dating situation, mm-hmm. and so her dad was a big Carolina fan. My that's, cousin, that's was, not gonna be too specific here. Okay, no, I don't, I'm trying to stay away from the specific. <laughs> yes, not too my cousin specific. was a is, was a star running back for Carolina. Oh God, you being very specific. Okay, so anyway, so they she came over to pick up something for her dad for Christmas mm-hmm. because I would have him sign, I had him sign something for her dad. Okay, so she came to pick it up, but her friend brought her because they were going back to school. Okay. So her friend brought her to the to the house to pick it up. Okay. While she was with my cousin getting the ball sign, me and her friend Oh no. Had kind of instant like it just an uh, instant conversation. That it happened. just went like and we talked literally the whole time. Um and then on the car ride home while they was on the way to school, I was on the phone with her with the talking to her. She was driving the friend back to school too. They was they went to the same school, so I was ended up talking to her the whole entire time. Talked to her the whole night. Talked to her so every single that day. Happened. So you had already dealt with the girl she was with. Yeah, that happened. How did she didn't know y'all was on the phone? Was that you on Jasmine Sullivan? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, which is solid too. It, it is. Yes, it is. I haven't heard it yet. Yeah. Rhonda yeah. story. What is that called? Rhonda story or something? That mm-hmm. sounds just like that. Yeah. yeah, it was. I mean, it was instant. Um, and so that was the only time I had experienced hotels. That. I had, uh, That's the name of the album. Yeah, you yeah. got a hotel, <laughs> but it just didn't. And we actually, the one thing I respected about her was she was What's like, the, not the story. How did it make you feel from the inside out? Well, what it, was so it made me, about it, this? It made me feel good, like just the butterflies. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's kind of that. I that, was that joking, nervous, was like yeah. yeah. No, seriously, <laughs> like I'm just saying it was. That a, was his sense. Removed, that was the first removed from his body. That was the first time I had experienced, and the only time you never had butterflies. You got butterflies mm-hmm. anytime, can't you? Yeah, nah. I never. Not when you like instantly see someone. Nah, I just never, I never had, I never had, and ever since. So you yeah, never nah. had butterflies for nobody. Not be instantly. Easy, be easy, be easy. Not instantly. <laughs> instantly. <laughs> no. Okay, but you have had them. Okay. I have had them, okay. but to say instantly, I'll keep, keep them in the safe space. CL <laughs> is, is 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 teaching a master class and setting you up for the kill. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and trying, he's trying not to yeah. set you up for the kill, but he really is setting yeah. you up for no, the no, kill. No, 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 no. Like, I have, I have, I have had it. Don't. I've had butterflies. Okay. With other people, but it hadn't. I never experienced. You already said you did. That instantly. I said instantly. I never instantly. experienced it instantly. Like butterflies instantly, I never experienced it, and that's what I experienced in that moment. Oh, so that was it, and it just carried on because it was a conversation literally started in the kitchen about football, and it just kept going from there. So, and that happens sometimes. You pick the wrong friend. I, I, I didn't meet both of them at the same time. Or but, sister, <laughs> yeah, our brother, yeah, uh, not our for me. Cousin. But, okay, wow, uh, yeah, but I, I think that. You know, there's something to be said for wanting to have that conversation, you know, and just actually talking to that person. You know, like you hang up and you're like, well, I'm actually going to wait on them to call me back or it matters if they text me back. Like that's chemistry. That's because you want that to happen. And sometimes it happens very. But what they just look good. Like, like I overachieved here. She looked good. good. (laughs) So you're like, I want to talk to her because I want to. It's a means to an end or you want to. Not necessarily me, but a lot of men talk to women based on how they look. Yes, I, I agree. I'm, isn't, that wild? isn't that why? Well, I'm, I'm in the group too. 97. So. <laughs> men, I, I know say, you with the numbers. Men are yeah. Studies have shown that uh, 97.2% of men. Okay, okay. Very visual. Very visual. Yeah. Very. Well, okay. But doesn't there have to be some form of physical attraction to be with? 
to to be to pursue someone. It yes. has to be so you have physical. To see them. So I think it's a hundred percent of people have to physically be attracted to the person that they're with. No, oh. not really, because you know not, I don't go women. by looks. Not I don't women. go by looks. You know that. No, I'm, it, you want to help me? Because I don't know what she be talking. About. <laughs> she keeps saying it. She keeps no, saying it but, like, I, but I, I don't, don't know. Sense, by looks. And it says okay, that so. It, I guess the way I'm the way I'm talking about it is like a cold call. Like you just meeting a person, mm-hmm. it, like your first interaction with them. Yeah. Let's say you go out and they approach you or you approach them. It's off of a physical attraction because that's what made you walk over there. Now, if it's somebody that you may be a friend with, you may be cool with, you might somebody you work with, an attraction might build because of their personality yeah, or whatever. You get mm-hmm. to know them, so they look. So whether you're saying you don't go by looks, they are physically attractive to you because the looks start to change in your mind yeah. due, because of the type of person that they are. No, I don't agree. No, you put less on the look. Though. You put yeah, less, you put less on the look. But you become even, attracted to the person because you, you got to have first, a physical attraction to no. do anything with no, somebody. No, you don't. No, you even don't. at first. You ain't got to physically be attracted to a person to sleep with them? It depends no. on what no. else um, they got going on. Yeah, they can come up to you. Unless you're taking one for the team. Their whole th- what? Unless you're taking one for the team, that's the no. only time. It no, a man can matter. approach me. He doesn't have to be that well good looking. All right, well, tell, tell me, I, I know, <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know somebody. I know somebody that'll approach you. That's fine. I, I got you. Let me know who you are gonna be Friday night. But it's I'll be home in okay. my bed. He gonna come knock on your door too, <laughs> and the cops will be called. Yeah, this. But oh, go ahead. I'm but. Sorry. It all depends on how a person approaches me. If he says, hey, if he just catches my eye on how he talks to me and and just his whole presence, like, okay, all right, I might be interested. And I have an open mind whenever I talk to someone. So just our conversation alone, just sitting there at a bar or wherever we are, I may instantly just give him my number and say, hey, well, we can continue this conversation over the phone. It doesn't have to be he's just gorgeous looking and I want to give him my number because he's gorgeous. No. Well, I, I think that there is something to that because you you might give him your number, but if I'm not physically attracted to you, mm. I hate to sound this way. Mm. Do tell. <laughs> um, Because you know what you're going to be dealing with. I mean, you know, because I don't like to... Uh, if you're attracted to somebody, you're attracted to somebody. Physically attractive. So some things are appealing versus other things. Mm-hmm. And so if someone's like, you know, if their mannerisms are off or their hands are, their palms are sweaty or something that just immediately turns me off, then it's very difficult for me to continue past that point. It's just like an immediate like. So if it has sweaty hands, you out. <laughs> God, leave. <laughs> I'm just asking. She said it. She, she said, said it. Like, yep. When you talk about men looking at women, you it looking just, at his hands like his hands sweat. You can <laughs> look and see. No, no, you might touch. He, he might touch like uh, this, something like that. Uh, oh, uh, oh, wow, it'd be uh, nasty. Huh? Am I? Am I? Okay, I okay. I mean, but what I was, I mean, when you're talking about like looks, if you're going to be like, okay, this person can call me. Like for me, in order to not be harassed, and when I'm out, then I might give somebody my number. I have no intention of talking to. Oh, wow. you get him your wrong number. Well, I usually don't, but then um, sometimes if I have been drinking out, <laughs> then they accidentally get my real number. Okay. By accident. <laughs> and that's how I got that voicemail. Go ahead. But there's people like on my voicemail who have my out name, uh-huh. and then they'll leave a voicemail. That's how I can tell that I didn't mean to give them my real number. Oh. You have an out name. I have an out name. Mm. Hmm. It works, too. It's, okay. You know, and they'll, they'll be like, hey, I can't tell you my out name. Because I don't, you know, in case they're listening. I don't want yeah, them. yeah, you don't want them. I want them to think that's my Protect real name. Protect the innocent. And like, I'm just calling. I'm like, uh-oh. They weren't supposed to have my real number. Then, you know, I just don't respond. Oh, wow. Yeah, just give me a real number because so you can at least make it out of wherever you are. Cause well, that's what happened. So when I was in Atlanta, mm-hmm. the guy stood there and was like, well, I'm, I'm about call to call you. you. And mm-hmm. I was like running out of the compound. But I don't go to compound really? anymore. That was when I was younger. Oh, yeah, compound. Yeah, if you're in the back, it's a long run. It's a long run. Nice little. I've never been. That's Something a long super ride. crazy happened to me there, but I won't share that oh. in, on this show because it's a little it's, bit. It's, it's our 100th show. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. <sighs> okay. You don't have to be very. I won't be too graphic because okay. this is like a, which y'all show like PG 13. If this was Be yeah. Easy show, I might share a little bit more. Okay. But, yeah. so. Gave, you know, dancing with this guy, whatever, and then he got too excited, and then he, like, let out on my um, <gasps> kneecap. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. What? And I had to run to the bathroom because yeah. I had. Yeah, that's, that's wild. That's <laughs> real wild. That's, that's, and so you, then, was, wow. you was really back in that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You was. <laughs> it was awful. So then I had to run to the bathroom. How did it get you on didn't your. Know him? Well, why was he out? Why was it out? Yeah. He, I, I, I guess he pulled it out. 
I don't oh. know. It was terrible. Oh. It's dark. It is dark in there. You asked for it. That is sexual assault. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, it's not. Yes, it is. He pulled it out against her will. She did not you know. Assumed. No. You assumed. You assumed. Maybe he had on like, short shorts. Like dancing, and we turned around to the front, and then next thing I know, it was like running down my kneecap. The front of your knee? Yeah, the front. So it shot and then came around. No, no, no. We turned around. No, oh, they were facing, facing each other. Oh, you're facing each other. So and, you, and you didn't see it or feel it? Or no. no. Okay, we put a period on this story. We <laughs> 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 have to just. I, 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 I said I don't have to share it. I know you I shared it. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an elaboration of the story. Would that, would that constitute instant chemistry? <laughs> <laughs> to somebody. Yeah, wow. I was devastated. For him. That's the instant. Yeah, I, uh, I, so, uh-huh. that is, I was devastated. And then at the end, like he tried to find me in the line when I was like leaving. Oh. He's like, "Hey, what you about to do?" I just couldn't. I was so mortified. Like I y'all done did whatever y'all was gonna do. Maybe that that's night. what that may have didn't happen. It might have been a dream. I wish it was a dream. A drink. A drink. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no. It was not a drink because when I went to the bathroom, <laughs> this girl was like, "What? What is that? What oh, is wow. that on your knee? It was wow. thick. Oh my god! It was just running down. It was disturbing." It was running. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally just running down my knee. Bees. Shout out to 100. Yeah. But here, yeah. This, yeah. Is, this yeah. is what I'll say, though. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, no to problem, Nick, no problem. To Nick's point, um, mm-hmm. she said she don't mm-hmm. um, you know, go for looks or whatever. One of the great uh, poet laureates, okay, uh, Christopher Wallace, yes, said yes. Uh, he's black and ugly as mm-hmm. ever. Mm-hmm. However, however, you have to have a however. And mm-hmm. what's the however, Nick? I don't know. Cause like so, I, I literally have a, a good looking friend. Mm-hmm. His name was Clarence. Like I've literally seen women, adult women. Was mm-hmm. he from Detroit? No. no. <laughs> he's, from, he's from he's from New York. Um yeah. but I Does he live with his parents? I'm sorry. No. <laughs> no he does live in a basement though. <laughs> <laughs> um five story walk up, but he lives in a basement. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I've literally seen women like get out of cars, mm-hmm. adult women. He's 18, 19 years old. Jump out of cars, stop car side of the road, riding down the window, roll down the window, screaming at them, doing all this stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah, it was wild. No one man should have all that power. None, none. <laughs> if he had done, if he could do something right, he would be dangerous. But he still has seven kids, but that's a whole nother Oh, thing. that means he did something great. right. No, he yeah. just, uh, I mean, he, he didn't let no, nobody pass now. <laughs> he just, his, his trap game is immaculate. Yeah. It's just the, the the however it's no however. He don't got a however. None. Yeah. He's the, he don't like to work. He just rather get a big girl. Uh, and hold up, he lives in a basement. <laughs> well, I mean, in New York, living in ba- basements is just yeah, regular. That's, that's and he common. don't have a job. He has a job. Oh, yeah. Now, well, he's an adult yeah, now. But then, when he was here for the summers, that's just what it was. How many baby mamas? I'm just looking at my theory that I have. I think he has seven or six. Yeah, I think once you get past two. Then my theory goes into play. So okay, which but theory was he good with ke- instant chemistry, or they were instantly attracted? That was my trying that's to the get physical back jump. Well, I think yeah, that's yeah. the physical, physical. Instant, that's instant attraction. Okay, because he ain't got no. You said he ain't got no high over. No, he like, no, no. He gonna he gonna close the deal, but he don't have no high. Like he's, is he cute? Well, he's, I mean, he's they say he's attractive. really attractive. According what to what do you women. think? I don't. Not all the time. There's some guys that? that have a lot of kids. Like he's not even tall because they're working with a tall. Yeah, huh? uh, 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 yeah. He's he not tall. He got some good hair and green eyes, and he oh, oh the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His it's complexion. Yeah, he talk. He talk. He light, lighter, lighter. He got hue. that New York talk. Yeah, he can really talk. Yeah. But after that, it's a wrap. Probably shouldn't have said his name. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you said his name. That's his oh, name. you did say his name. Yeah, yeah. did. Yeah. Called him out. Yeah. And then you said it again. Yeah, well, he's okay. a good he's guy. Got, he's already got seven children, so is he looking for more? Oh, no. Nah, I think he's settled down now. Okay. He's, he he's gotta, married? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. He just <laughs> had to settle down. Yeah, he just settled, settled down. on the kids. I think okay. he's just dating one woman now. Oh, but okay. he's also older, too, so we're much younger then. Gotcha. But his chemistry, he had instant chemistry a lot, but it didn't amount to anything. But was that instant chemistry or instant attraction? I think there's a difference in the two. I don't know. That's interesting. Attraction. That's yeah. attraction, and I think because he's probably like charismatic. Oh, very. He knows that's very, his, oh, his deal. Dresses really so, well. So it's easy really to well. get people kind of wrapped in that. Oh, yeah. As long as he don't have to prove nothing, he's good money. Yeah. <laughs> good money. So so that's a, some women, no, that's he sells the story. Yes. Yes. He sells yeah. a dream. No, nah, he doesn't no. sell the dream. Yeah, you don't yeah, gotta sell it. You don't gotta sell it. You don't gotta sell the dream when idea. you live in it. Yeah. How, like he has how can y'all tell us I can, women that we don't have to? Because we've conquered women here. Uh, like Ooh, you conquered. don't you don't ask a deer 
That's right. How to hunt deer. You don't. Okay. I, you know. Yeah, of course. Oh, you get that <laughs> That's a great I analogy. Yeah, you don't, you don't ask it. Good. That is a great analogy. So, I don't want to say how many deer I've killed. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you, got, so. you, you got some heads on the wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. talking about 10 point bucks. Boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. Okay. wow. <laughs> oh, wow. But, and me here thinking you were just this nice, wholesome guy. He I is. am wholesome. He's very wholesome. It, yeah. Yeah, there's not it's good it's clean nothing and wholesome. Non wholesome about being honest. No. And you know, it's if, actually isn't that quite the definition yeah. of wholesome? If I if I have if honest. I have a couple of howevers. Yes. And <laughs> And you say you heard that giggle? Mm-hmm. They be giggling like that all night. Hey, hey, <laughs> they're so crazy. They, they show you the teeth. You got them. Yep. No. Next thing, yeah. I'm, next so thing you know, I'm grin. I'm in. Yeah. Next thing, things you know, I'm cooking grits in the morning. It's you know what I'm saying? Wow. Well, if you can, wow. make, if you can make grits, wow. That's awesome. You know. That's a, they, hey, a lot of men can't make grits. They can't. Mm, so. A lot of women can't make grits either. So, it's a, hey, see, I however, <laughs> however, another however, see, however, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is a turn out, man. Okay. that can cook. See, yeah. just in general, so you don't got to, you don't got to sell no dream, but I mean, you have to show them some things, but you don't got to sell. Yeah, yeah you got to sell. Nah, you know. Well, maybe the dream is that they're thinking. You know, a lot of women think that they're going to be the one. Yeah, that takes you away from being. You said she, some or all. <laughs> a lot of women. I mean, they think that they're going to tame that beast. Mm-hmm. That is this man a lot of times. And so she sells herself the dream. Yeah, so that's the dream that I think Nick is talking about. It's oh. not you selling it. It's the idea that, okay, I'm with this guy, and then, oh, my gosh, you know, we hooked up last night, and then he got up and made grits. Oh, yep. and maybe he didn't. <laughs> that was a dream that you just sold to me. Maybe, and maybe, maybe he, he was know, just hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just not rude. <laughs> yeah. But that's how, that's how our mind works, and I think mm-hmm. that men have to take that into consideration, too, as you're going out conquering that the little things you're thinking – like, for example, you know, my car is always junky. So if somebody, I'm riding a car and somebody cleans out my car. Five years ago, I'd been like, oh, my gosh, you cleaned out my car. Now I've noticed that just because my car is junky and there's a man of age recognizing mm-hmm. you need to clean it out, he may not mind. Uh-huh. Then he's just doing that out of, you know, we, we hang out. So, you like, Courtesy. do you need to clean your car out? Oh. That's not a, you know. It's not a I love you sign there? No. no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I think. As you get older and as you have more relationships, you start to um, recognize those things. So the so, dreams start to. So be those different. things have less value when you get older. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because I think you just start to do things. It's just like men make a big deal out of a woman performing oral sex or something like that, and it's not getting a. It's not big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. My uh, okay. uh, uh, preacher underscore BP. If that's not <laughs> a big a deal to y'all, uh, <laughs> hit me up on social media. If it's just nothing. That's a part of sex. Okay. Yeah, but it's a big deal to men. Yeah. Yes. But this generation, if you think about the generation that's right, they do everything. It's yeah. still a big deal to men. Well, we're not in that generation. Yeah. <laughs> just, I, I guess. And, but it's really not. and you know what? They do everything but still get nothing. So the results are usually the same. Okay. Like a lot of a lot of women and men mm-hmm. do things that they perceive is the right thing to do. But if you still get the results, because it seems like it's very hard for people to date for some reason. So if you're still just single and you did all these things, you actually lost. So you might need to change what you're doing. Because the girls who supposedly giving it out and doing so much, the popular ones, sometimes really not as active as they mm-hmm. seem. Exactly. As they that's put just what they want to be perceived in that Yeah, way. but then somebody else because is really it, doing it. It brings the attention in. Yes, mm-hmm. but somebody who's really doing it, both of y'all still single. Right, and I think, I think part of the reason when you mentioned like people have a hard time dating, I think that has to do with being on the same page. And that's why we talk, you know, when you think about online dating working. So if you're on a certain app, mm-hmm. a lot of times this, this success happens because people are on the app for the same reason. But don't and you so, lie when you're on it? Mm-hmm. But no. everybody's not on the oh, app for the everybody. same reason. And I think no, the, but you can weed them out. Yeah, I mean, but I think the, oh, I think that's the, I would say that's the thing with it is trying to figure out the formula for mm-hmm. finding the person who's there for the same reasons that you are. You can tell in the first few conversations, I'd imagine. Oh, wow. Yeah, because they'll come off real quick saying, ooh, what? Oh, you're so sexy. Yeah, or just mm-hmm. right there. I just want to hold you. Yikes. No, yeah. I, have, I got COVID. That's a turn off. <laughs> That's a turn off. <laughs> no, I may or may not have said that. <laughs> but it was the truth. <laughs> oh, when they ask you for a picture right off, hey, can I have a picture of you? Okay. Yep. I don't send up. I Girl, try to send out pictures. must be bunny. Because <laughs> you show is fluffy. <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah, that's an old. Yeah, what works on you? Yeah. No, you are fluffy. Girl. I don't want to be <laughs> soft. feeling fluffy. You don't want to feel fluffy. I want to no, feel fluffy. You're not that. You're fluffy. Yeah, bring <laughs> your fluffy self over here. Let me, let me hold you all night. <laughs> but that 
Like maybe can, after you've been in a relationship a while. You yeah, can you can say that after that. Oh shoot! So you don't do that on the first? <laughs> no. no. Oh, yeah. I'm trying sorry. to make that chemistry. Yeah, that's not no. Hold on, you no, call me not You're not making a chemistry. See, I see how you try to slide that in there. You just what you mean? It. I think chemistry is made. So it's not made. Okay. It's just there. It's science. It's yeah, it is the science. I think it. you're you are making or creating those feelings. Like you build feelings and emotions as you get to know somebody. Chemistry is like we've discussed. Mm-hmm. It's an so, instant. So thing. how come people don't have chemistry with people they seem like they're not attracted to? You Seemingly can. not attracted. They can't. They can. They, they, they can. Sneaky links. Yeah, that's where the sneaky yeah. links come from. Yeah. Now is that? I don't know if that's chemistry. Or that's a willing. Because sometimes when somebody's willing. You just they, you'll do. I mean, willing, willing to. like yeah, I know. you know when men sometimes. sometimes but sometimes I know you're lazy. Some, some, men, men be on some BS sometimes. I some, want to call you at two a.m. Well, and they ain't talk to you all. But see, it be some dudes. <laughs> it's sometimes it's some. I mean, it, it go on both sides. It might uh-huh. like I'll say somebody not physically attractive, mm-hmm. but they just like being around them. But they wouldn't be caught dead in public with them. Yeah, yeah. It it happens but they lot. have the whatever. They have yeah. the chemistry. Yeah, but it, the whatsoever. Yeah, and there's yeah. some chemistry yeah. there if you're willing to. I think. Build a sneaky link. There's some sort of chemistry there, whether mm-hmm. it just be, and it mm-hmm. could just be sexual. No, nah, I don't call that chemistry though. Why but not? if you just, if you're but willing, I thought to, you said you it have was. To have chemistry no, 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 to have no, 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 sex. no. What I said is, that's do you? Yeah, that ain't, that ain't if it's good on both. I think, I think. Well, no. I, I think that's more fulfilling sex. Yeah, good sex. You can got good sex. Yeah. What about great sex? Well, okay, yeah. that that may come with more yeah, feelings. I mean, and, but who, yeah, who at our age is trying to just go out here just having? Random. Random good sex. I'm not. I'm <laughs> I am not giving all that up. I'm not. You're not giving it up. No, no. I'm not giving I think, all that I think the effort is for great. I think people want to have great sex. Oh, yeah. They do. I mean, I, good it sex, feels different yeah, when you don't have that chemistry. Oh, I wouldn't know. Okay, I'm sorry. Because you don't care. No, no, I care. I care. But I only have sex She's with one person. She's in a relationship. So. Yeah, so I don't. I, and I can't recall anything else that ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Yeah, but it, it, it makes a different yeah. a difference when you have chemistry with someone. Yes, you will accept smaller things Me. and less wow. things. How do we keep going back on the street? <laughs> no, well, Ooh. hey, I'm just saying you will but accept you certain that. things. Yeah, you but you'll that. accept it, and it would still it would feel different rather than if you didn't have chemistry. You'd be like, nah, that's okay. I'm not into it. I can't. I don't. But that's how he got to trick you. He got to build the chemistry up first and then show you that. He's building up a relationship. Building a relationship. Selling a dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Emotions are involved. Okay. So is that how women end up getting maybe the shorter end of the stick on the back end? No (laughs) pun intended. (laughs) (laughs) No pun intended. No short sticks on the back end. Yeah, yeah, because see, they sold you this up front and then it may not really be what it is and... You give them a chance, and then you end up liking them. Again, I think that with time and age, as you get older and and have been in relationships and know what you like and what you don't like, which is why I encourage women to date who they want to date until you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. And date, I mean, and just be open. And while I may not be comfortable doing that, I, you know, in some cases, I think you have to have a respect for each other. But if you're talking about, you're doing more than, if you want to go past talking, you still have to go ahead and, and see what you like. Okay. The only way to see what you like or don't like is to experience it. Yep. Really? I think I, I think with relationships. I think if you don't if you don't know Okay, okay, I'm trying to stay off X or Okay. R. Mm-hmm. Um if you Okay. We can talk about like food. You don't really know that you don't like potato salad until you've tried it. Okay. So you mm. can, oh, you might not like everybody's potato salad. Yeah, you might not like everybody's potato salad, but you might like this your potato. mom's or your grandma's. Meat. I've never had escargot, mm-hmm. but just by the look of it, I don't think I'd like it, and I'm not willing to try. Okay, there's and that's the same thing with relationships. So he might be yeah, like, that I don't makes like your pool smaller. Yeah, I don't like big women. So then you just take big women off the table and they only talk to other women. Yeah, it's the same kind of idea. You don't like it, you don't know, but you're like, I don't want to have sex with Lizzo. So, <laughs> I find I, I don't want to talk to anybody that's that, that size. size. If uh, okay, it's like with men, I don't. Some women are like, well, I don't like short men, and then they just take short men off the table and just. I mean, at that, like you said, it it shrinkens your pool, pool of people that you're pulling from. Mm-hmm. But I think you don't know that until you open yourself up to try certain things. Yeah. So you think people should just date whatever? I think they should date their interest. So they're interested in trying if you. Well, if you do something, do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. 
I'm not necessarily. Well, just and so if you, but I agree with her when she says date your interest because just because this person, this woman is a, a big woman, y'all may both have interest in football or interest in traveling. And if you go ahead and just slashed out, slash her out because she's big, you may miss out. No, but what you mean? What if you? What, what if, if I'm not attracted to you? Yeah, attracted what, to you? what if bigness is more important to you than the other things? Like right. I don't want you to be big. That's so shallow. What? I, I'm well, not okay. saying it's shallow or not. I can't I'm wait for you to say something. I'm gonna be like, that's so shallow. Okay, <laughs> okay. Go well, ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something very we shallow. All are, we all are shallow <clears throat> nah. about something. Absolutely, I'm shallow hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see how that worked out for him? Yeah, he wound up with a big girl. Yeah, right with so. a big girl. But go ahead. Anyway, I'm joking. I have to be. It, it just for it to last. For me to go for it to be a hundred percent and it has has to be physically attractive. And I just can't I can't be in something. I'm I'll front for a minute. I'll front for about 30, 40 days. Hmm. We but, know what happened hey, in hey, hey, whoa, at whoa, the whoa, end whoa, of the day. Whoa. But at the end of the day, if but, I don't continue don't, don't prosecute if I don't, yourself, no. I'm not prosecuting myself. Don't, I'm being don't, honest. Try, hush. Hush. Yeah. hush. Go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna it's gonna be a situation where I'm just not attracted. If I'm not attracted, so you're not going to give her no chance because you're not physically attracted to her. <laughs> if I'm not physically attracted can to you, you why why am I here? I can't. I, I'm not at my like. If I'm not physically, if I'm not if I'm not physically attracted to you, and I'm going to cheat on you because I'm not physically attracted to you, I'm going to. So cheat you're on going you. to cheat on her because you're not physically because she's not cute to you. Uh, well, hopefully, I wouldn't talk if she's not cute to you. So I, I can, no, I, I think can it's, understand. It's, it's, you can you can feel his you royal. Can be, no, okay. what it is is I think I've been in situations. Oh. Where not you personally, your friend? No, me personally. Know, well, before I you have start, been in situations. Before you start, before you He's start, let me today. ask you this question. No, yeah, no, no, no. Can you text him? I have been. I have been. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> no, because I want to ask you this question before you him. finish. Okay, ask me the question before I finish. Okay. Go ahead. I right. listen to the question. So, oh. <laughs> does someone turn ugly because you can't have a conversation with them? No, they're still cute to you. You'll still make it last because they're cute. If they're cute, if, as long as it has to be an encompass the whole thing, it can't be they, they can't be an idiot because I like to have intellectual conversation, so they can't be an idiot. So it but has to be some kind. Of, but I have to them. be. <laughs> but I have to be. I have to be mm-hmm. attracted to them. And if I don't have that attraction, mm-hmm. rather than go cheat on them, I would rather not be with them. Okay. So it takes you thirty to sixty days. If- no, because sometimes, sometimes we start out like I may start out in a situation where I've, like I said, I've been in a situation where an attraction has happened because of the circumstances in which they came into my life under. So under those circumstances, an attraction has happened, but over time, I'm just physically not. I couldn't physically bring myself mm-hmm. to do certain things with them. This your friend Clarence. <laughs> yeah. Shush, shush. I just couldn't physically bring myself <laughs> yeah, to do things with them. <laughs> so if that's the case, then rather than, <laughs> mm-hmm. so then rather than, but they're good people. Good, good, good people. Good you're person. just not physically attracted. Yeah, to them. yeah just not physically attracted. <laughs> so you would cheat on them just because you're not physically attracted. I wouldn't cheat on them because you just wouldn't be with them. I just wouldn't be with them. Well, he's already great was conversation. With them. Yeah, he was already with them. I was great not com- with them in a relationship. Well, you had that chemistry. What you had you that spark. Them? Yeah. You had everything Dating maybe talking How Is that relationship not, for a bro? come so, up so, Sound like a come up so have Nah not for a come so up So had y'all done anything physical Before you decided You couldn't That's do it That's the anymore? question uh-huh. yeah. Here you go No don't do it Don't do it, don't <laughs> yeah. do it. No yeah. go ahead uh, yeah. 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 And, 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 Stop and, Trying to help him and, and Fall on the sword Go ahead <laughs> right right In the one case In the one case I'm talking about Oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Oh god <laughs> Cause it's been multiple cases He's gonna he take the charges I. He gonna take the charge in the he one case. I. In the one case I'm talking about. Oh man! In the one case I'm talking about, it happened once. And then you were just like, oh. No, no. I, yeah. It's just it just wasn't. It just Why wasn't. Was, it <laughs> was it a lot of body? I'm not going through all of that because then then it'd be saying who it is. Well, you already said who it is. No, I didn't. If she's listening, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, she's, she's probably not. she's not listening. I'm never listening. listening. <laughs> she's not listening. <laughs> Don't ask him why she's not listening because of, <laughs> because of this. Yeah. She's not a listener. So you're gonna say she's not physically attractive, but she was physically attractive enough for you to lay down with her uh, at once. Yeah. Or it so was, is your physical you attraction just facial happened. or body? My attraction to her was face was facial. She's a beautiful person in the face. But her body gorgeous was just in the face. Not with body to your liking. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Well, everybody has a thing. Yeah. I don't. I, I mean. But don't you have to be uh, to me? 
And this is just a question. Don't you have to have an attraction and be into the person like that to physically do things with them? I think you should. I mean, I think that's normal. Some people have sex with anything. Yes. Some people do, Some but that's, I, I would just, but do they, is that just them or is that the norm? Is that the exception yeah, that or the norm? Yeah, that may be their preference. They may like a chubby. No, you, but see, you keep saying mm-hmm. big. You keep saying big, and it's big. not necessarily big. Yeah, it's not necessarily or big. very, very skinny. Yeah, and, very skinny, yeah. Yeah, yeah and very, this person, the person I'm talking about wasn't big. Yeah, he just a, a really skinny. Whoa. So it's just, just so no like ass, it. huh? No ass. It's some stuff. Don't stop asking. Yeah, yes. specific. Unique is not your friend. Yes, yeah, she's not. <laughs> she's not your I, it friend. Don't, it I'm don't. Put on she pushing it don't the sword me. deeper. Yes, it don't bother me at all. Yes. I'm not because I know how you are. So I know you're gonna be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So too so far. Why so can he CL, be honest with her? CL's not. CL's honest. You said, why yeah, can I be honest with her? Give you all the if, if I ever get arrested with Yoshi, <laughs> I'm telling her first. Yeah. 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 He, I, no, he tell I, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't know what Measy did, but I had all the crap. <laughs> <laughs> 14 but grams. At least, but at least you know I, I, I got you. Like, I'm going to be the one to start. I don't know. You yeah. might tell on me by osmosis. Like, <laughs> yeah. in the car. Wow. I don't know about them guns in there, but. I think it's. I think you do have to be attractive and attracted in. I mean, I, in, in order to sustain, and I think to sustain. That, but I think what happens, I think when we think about men, sometimes we talk about you've been in a relationship, and then the wife gains weight, or the wife has something happen, and then they cheat as a result. And I've seen that, unfortunately, more times than I would like. Well, isn't that the man's fault? That is the man's fault. Not what? Actually. That the wife wrote gain weight? Yeah. 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 Either she That's had his a baby. Wife. She if he, had a baby. She if he notices, have. I think it, it, in that case if you notice that there's some weight gain and some things going on i think that you should help as a man oh god you should Here aid you go. you're gonna buy some workout clothes and lay them on oh, the bed no 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 oh, no well, no I, you I mean, just you may change is. like I'm a, I'm, <laughs> I'm a person that cooks so we may eat a little bit different yeah i may we may go walk we yeah. may and there's a way to insert Agreed. things to help uh her to not to to re- Lose the weight, yeah, but yeah. without being so blatant and tactless and everything else. I think yes. there's a way. But to no do matter what, her you body, do. her choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. But no matter what you do, never tell her she got big. big. Yeah. She already knows. Yes. Yeah. We already know. She, yeah. They already know. They she probably see that some weight. Insecurity is already the pants, there. The pants she could button yesterday, she can't today. She know. It's not oh. even about the pants. It's just like in general, we we only have more. We attack ourselves on, in that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so don't say anything. You just be proactive. You just proactive. make the change. Yeah, you just yeah, yeah. make the so, change. But you know, we do notice the changes. So when you start cooking differently, she's going to ask you, so are you doing well, this? If, no, if, I don't if, think that that's... T- if he, if, like if, so he can cook. So mm-hmm. if, if they can cook, it's like, oh, well, we're just eating this. And sometimes it helps if you have a person with you. But yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. doing it just in general. But yeah. I think there's some ways to do this, men. I hope you're listening because I've seen and heard horror stories of, you know... Oh, for her birthday, I just got our gym membership. Yeah, oh, yeah wow. that's a little, that's yeah, why. But they do that. Uh-huh. They oh, do. I bought new clothes. I bought them from, you know, expensive places mm-hmm. so that she can wear those. And then if they end up being on the couch, it's like, I didn't buy those $80 leggings for you to what? sit on the couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah never I mean, heard of $80 leggings? No, just people oh. just saying, like, doing. Yeah, but that's what happens. You, you. You start to do that, and it sometimes so, a lot. Of so time, you well, said men pretty dumb all, all, all Well, around. we've established that already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I want okay, to say dear. it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it out loud. Okay, dear. Yeah. Wow. He got you, <laughs> <laughs> fatty. <laughs> <laughs> right. See? Well, I mean, yeah. Don't. Try don't yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. I'm, don't, I'm joking. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a. Um, it's not a good thing. Nah. But I think we oftentimes thing. forget about women, and you know, men do the same. Men, you know, can start a relationship looking one way, and then they don't look that way. And then women are expected to. Oh, y'all are better people than us. Oh, we'll see. But we still look at you. We still have to look at you. And then a lot of times we look past. Y'all adjust y'all eyes. Sometimes men can't adjust their eyes. Like, you you was a a three. Now you a 33. Yeah, it's different. Men don't get married. Women don't marry men because of their looks, though. No, I would agree. They marry them because of security. Money. Oh, security. Yeah, yeah, security. Okay, not money. Well, different <laughs> things. <laughs> security. <laughs> <laughs> we call it security. <laughs> security. Some, sound sometimes better. money is included in the security. security. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. how I would just stability. Like, you know, like, yeah. Well, some things you deal with more if the person has money versus not. So you can't be. I'm just not going to be out here getting played by somebody that's not paying bills at my house. And okay. you ugly. 
But you just, you just said, you just said nobody's it, ugly. Now which matter. is it? How, who's ugly? Who's not? Nah, nah, ugly? Is a black broke. girl lost nah, to shorty you, owe you for ice? Yeah, no, if you're broke. Now nah, if you're kids. broke, no, 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 no. Let me make make it very clear. If you're broke, well, we're talking about ugly. If you're broke, no, no girl, if you're broke and ugly, ugly. No, if you're broke and ugly, no, I can't. Nobody's ugly. You said I don't know anybody that's broke and ugly. They aren't even in my phone. Did yeah. Did you just said? But if you're but see if you're approaching me, you're approaching me a certain way. You're not I'm, gonna approach me if you're broke. Okay, don't say. They, they you're not even gonna be where I'm at if you're broke. They probably, they probably what? will. Though. They probably will. <laughs> They yeah, they will. probably Nigga, will. Wild right now. No, I'm not serious. There's what? so many entrepreneurs. They don't have homes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I need to see receipts of this of this Entrep- profit. Entrepreneurship. They love to say entrepreneur, and then there's no funds in the bank. But you know the Jay Z people, like the ones that are still rapping. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you're you're the mm-hmm. rule. You're not the exception. See, Jay Z is the exception. Okay. They have a look. So y'all yeah. having a whole different podcast. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am boss right now. No. I don't. Hey, all we talking, we're talking about, about is you said nobody was ugly earlier. That's all we was talking about. All this yeah. way you, Nick is stunting on us right now because it's obviously hey, a privilege for us to be where she is. Broke people ain't gonna be where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, broke people are where I'm at all the time. Okay, okay. Well, so because so I work it, at a school. So bring it. <laughs> <laughs> we work at a school. I mean, we just don't have it. Okay. Yeah, we know we broke. Okay, <laughs> so um, it's different. Bringing it full circle. So if the person is broke or whatever, the instant chemistry it, it can happen. It don't work. But, <laughs> it don't work. With does it hold it? But I mean, it doesn't hold. It does happen. But if you're saying, but if you're saying that it does happen, so it happens that a person will stay with because of oh no, the, oh no, stay with. You see, you, I think it just kind of makes sure know, my, that I've taken my birth control. No, because the instant, because like yeah. the, wow. insta- the instant, because the instant chemistry. <laughs> okay, you might become the sneaky link because you might be happy. You know, it's too, it's too risky. For a sneaky link. It's happy. too risky because see, you think captain about, of the couch. That's why you have to be careful with who you link with. Anyway, yeah, because yes. you just got. But mm-hmm. see, I think you you in your question you said uh, having that instant chemistry and staying with them. Yeah, the instant it, chemistry sometimes leads to it can. St- yeah, that's sometimes like the love instant it. chemistry. That's like love at first sight. Chemistry I mean, people, leads people to being in a relationship with them because you kind of just build on yeah, that yeah. To, as you get to know them. So, at what point is chemistry out the window and finances play a part or looks play a part? Well, the well, looks didn't I play a part if you made it to I this think part. To what you're saying. The chemistry happens instantly, like we've discussed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then as you get to know the person, you may not like the person as a person. You can yeah. still have chemistry. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. That's a different that's I a can different still call and talk okay. to this person, but I don't see anything going why, on. Why, what if you don't or like not them. even call and talk to them. What what if you don't like them, why are you calling to talk chemistry and it wasn't necessarily a one night stand, but we actually talked and met and mm-hmm. exchanged numbers. And then we talked that Sunday. Then we talked that Monday, mm-hmm. and then I'm realizing, well, you know, he kicks dogs or he's a litterer mm-hmm. or different things that are deal breakers for me. That um, then I don't want to talk to him anymore, mm-hmm. even though the chemistry was there. So you can have instant chemistry and not have anything out of it. A- absolutely correct. Oh, mm-hmm. so that's why I think what what you try to make it where you create it. You don't have to create it. Yeah. It's just like it's there. there. But you just might not like the person. That 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 ha- that has happened. Thank you. That has happened. Look at that. Yeah. It's coming around. It just happened. See? Yeah. No. No. It's it's. I mean, I've often not liked people after I got to know. Them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like stuff like that, especially like with relationships. Like you know, what I'm saying I try to use the analogy with like sports and stuff. So, um, you've always had teammates that y'all played good together, and you couldn't stand them. Oh yeah, yeah. You didn't deal with them you know off, what I'm saying? yeah, off the field or you see that more than you see that a lot in sports though. Mm-hmm. Like you on the on the court or on the field. It's so you one, saying, one are you, saying are you saying relationships with sports? I think it's an analogy to be made there. And I think it's one of sport. And I think men are different. So when I, you know, in coaching with men, men are more likely to leave whatever that is to exhibit that chemistry on the court, mm-hmm. where women carry that with them. So that's just a difference in how our chemical makeup is. For example, like if you know, men, can, boys can fight mm-hmm. in the locker room, and, and then if their if their common goal is to win then they are more likely to go out and win okay. than girls fighting in a locker room. It's they over. can't get it together. It, it yeah. They can't get right it together. Now. So when we're talking about relationships, um, you're thinking about, okay, what can the guy get past? If, we're, if we have a common goal, like mm-hmm. you said, if the goal is I met her in the club and then I'm going to do whatever and then that's going to be it, then that's going to be it. The girl, a lot of times we talk about that dream, we're trying to create something that's happening. Where oh. So when you think about, that in terms of sports, and I'm just speaking about mm-hmm. my my experience. 
girls, she's not going to pass her the ball. She is not. It's just, it oh, is a, it's just not mm-hmm. going to happen. They just can't get past it where guys like, you know, I hate you. I punch you in the face. But if the goal is to win, then we'll just do this and move past it. So you don't have to hang out anymore. Whatever. Is that why sometimes when women get upset, they don't talk? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's 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 a part of it. You get up, I, I wish I could disagree. Eyes open. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to make that make sense with mm-hmm. analogy. It made made plenty of sense to me. But it's it's all a game. So yeah, it's all like, a game. Hey, Sue, sell save it's a sport. The Cristo. <laughs> <laughs> good analogies, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Allegories. Wow. <laughs> you should write a book. I am, I'm gonna write a book. Me too. Write two two books. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Yusuf. Yes. Yes. Now sir. is is this a uh, you have a clear understanding on your chemistry. Yeah, why? Well, uh, I just want to make sure. I'm just checking. Why you asking me? Like I was going well, yeah, to go, I was gonna go around the table. You okay. were here. Oh, oh, okay. I'm an outside. Okay, okay, so so you do. Yeah, I have a complete, yeah, full understanding of uh, uh, chemistry. Uh, city girl, neat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no brokies around here. Um, what do you even believe in chemistry, or is this yes. you call it something else? Yes, okay, I do. you do. Yeah, I do. Okay, be easy. Well, I'm Bill, not a science guy, baby. Okay, Bill Nye. Yeah. Bill Nye. Okay. Oh goodness, Miss G. Miss G. Uh, absolutely. You believe in it? Yeah, you got it. You need a little spark. Uh, okay. Good bro- my good brother CL have we been um, able to dissuade you I, or persuade you to the other side? I do have more clarity. Yes. Thank you. To you so all. we know that wasn't you. No, no, that's chemistry garbage. <laughs> yeah. That's who that is. That's exactly who that is. That's the dinner bell. Yeah. I don't know who that <laughs> is. Ding 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 ding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do have brother, I have more clarity, but um I won't be able to use it because I already have chemistry. Yeah, you Aww. got your chemistry. Good. Yeah, yes. Shout out to your chemistry. Yes. Hey, yes, yes. the good. chemistry. Yeah. So. He had to fix that to work for him. I it don't did I work. don't have to fix anything so it works me. Everything is perfect, right? Yes. No, well, I mean, it's I don't believe in perfect, but it's going well. Excellent. Your chemistry it's, is AU. Yes. My chemistry is AU. My side is good. AU is gold. Yes. That's chemistry. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I picked yeah. up on that. I went like, to school. Look at you yeah. being yeah. way up here. Right? Kind of, hey. don't, that's all I know. H2O. H2O. Yeah. Okay. CO2. 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 Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Well, this is uh, RASP 100. Yeah, this is <laughs> uh, well, we want to thank Miss G and uh, B Easy for joining us on this 100th uh, episode. Do you want to give out your social medias and find out where they could catch you, Miss G? Uh, you can follow me on TikTok mm-hmm. because that's where I roll these days. Okay. You roll on TikTok? Block is yes. a little, the block is a little hot in the other other social media streets. Okay. But I'm G Weezy on TikTok, G E E W E E S I E, and on Clubhouse too. Okay. okay. Yeah, same. I think it's the same name on Clubhouse too. G Weezy. Huh? G uh, Weezy. Brother Be Easy, when can they catch the DJ Blaze? You and the crew on the DJ Blaze radio show? Uh, you can find us on, we can catch us on uh, Sundays, or Mondays, um, and also on Wednesdays. Anywhere you get your podcast for free 99. Um, you can find us on social media, on Twitter and Instagram at uh, DJ Blaze Show. And you can catch me on social media at Preacher underscore BP on Twitter and Instagram. Okay. And before we get out of here, we want to say uh, thanks to all the listeners, followers, um, people in these different sick countries like Singapore and mm. <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> where they came. Uh, New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand and all these other places. Uh, so thank you guys for listening and keeping us going. Um who knew when we started that this would be here? Um, I think CL had a plan for that, and we continue to move forward. Hey, we're we working at it, brother. Yeah, continuing to move forward. So I want to thank all our fans, listeners, and continue to um, support us as much as possible. Neek. All right, I'll go ahead and get us out of here. Thank you all for listening, and it's your girl, Neek Cruz. CL Butler. And your boy, Youssef, and we are out. Thank you for listening to another episode of Relationship Status. Remember, you can catch us on RelationshipStatusPodcast.com, iTunes, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, Nobody Grinds Like Us, and anywhere you listen to your favorite podcasts. If you would like to join the conversation or leave us a Dear Neek, email us at R-E-L-S-T-A-T podcast at gmail.com or call us at 843-310-8637. Follow us on Facebook at Relationship Status Podcast, 
on Instagram and Twitter at R-E-L-S-T-A-T podcast. And don't forget to comment, share, five star rate, subscribe and review.